There are a lot of different radon detectors on the market today. And in this video, we will show you the most important ones and give you an overview. Hello, I'm Martin from Radon Tech, and in this video, we're going to introduce you to the most important radon detectors currently on the market. We start here on this site with what are called passive exposimeters. This is actually a radon measurement, as it was done 10 years ago, when there were no really good electronic radon meters. This is a passive measurement. The can is left in one place for a year. There is a little analog chip inside that is basically exposed to radon. Then you send the can to a lab and you get a yearly average. The disadvantage of the passive exposimeter is that you only get a yearly average. This means that you do not know how high the individual fluctuations of radon are. The dosimeter can only be used once and is then thrown away. And a big disadvantage is that during the measurement, you have no idea how high the actual radon levels are. This means that you have to wait a year. That is why we no longer recommend this type of measurement. The successor of the passive measurements is about 10 years old. This is the device from AirThings, the Corentium home. As you can see, it is battery powered, so it is very mobile and ultimately a slightly better passive measurement. It can measure right on, but not in real time. This means that you can see an average value of a day on the device itself. That is, the instrument is turned on and it takes between 6 and 24 hours for the first right on readings to appear. For example, if you come into the office in the morning, the instrument is there, shows 500 becquerel, and I would then actively ventilate, nothing would happen on the instrument at first because it calculates the values over a sliding average. This means that after six, seven, eight hours, the value would slowly drop to the average value, where the whole thing is moving. This means that this device is also a good device, but not quite standard technology. Now we come to the exciting products. These three products are from the company EcoSense. And here we have the EcoBlue. This is the successor or the continuation of the AirThings Corentium Home. The EcoBlue has a display with a real-time value. This means that the radon level is updated on the display every 10 minutes. This means that if you open the window, you will be able to see how the radon levels are slowly decreasing within 10 minutes. The device, like the AirThings Corentium Home, has no Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connections, but you can see that you need a power connection for this device. There is a small menu button on the back of the device. And here, I can jump from the real-time value to the daily average, the weekly average, the monthly average, and a so-called long-term value. This means that the device has been running since then. And in the last one, you can see that the instrument has been running for 132 days. Now we come to the Radon Eye. The Radon Eye is our best seller and has been out for over seven years. And we have sold tens of thousands of units of this device. The Radon Eye combines a lot of things. It has a large ionization chamber. This means that you can measure radon very quickly and very accurately. The advantage of the instrument is that there is a small display on the top that shows real-time radon readings in 10-minute intervals. If you want to know a little more about the data history over the past days, weeks, or months, you need an app. The app connects to the device via Bluetooth. Once there, you can read the data, set alarms, and export the data. The small disadvantage of this device is that when you export the data, the data itself does not have a timestamp. That is, it just starts with the reading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the radon values. This means that even if the instrument has been without power for 10 days, i.e. no measurements have been taken, the instrument will simply continue with reading 11, 12, 13. 
So you wouldn't really see that there was a 10-day break. But other than that, it has been our absolute bestseller over the last few years. The last one is the EcoCube. This is also the latest development in the EcoSense series. Here you can see that it looks a bit simpler and fancier. A little black cube, here a little white cylinder. But the device has no display. But just like the radon eye, it needs a power connection. That means you can't even see the real-time radon readings on the device itself. Instead, there is this little LED indicator light, which at least lets you know what range the radon levels are in. From 0 to 100 Bequerel, the light is green, from 100 to 300 it is orange, and above 300 it is red. So with this little light, you can get a sense of where you are. But if I want to see the radon readings in real time, or also the history, similar to the radon eye, I need the app here. And that might be the big drawback. The device only starts the measurements when it is connected to a Wi-Fi. This means that the app and the Wi-Fi connection are absolutely necessary. Otherwise, the measurement will not work. The big pity is that once the device is in Wi-Fi and I have connected it via the app, I can watch the values from all over the world. That means I can look at my radon levels in the basement from the office. With the radon eye, I have to stand next to the device and set up the Bluetooth connection to see the readings. Here, with the device, I can look at it from anywhere. Another advantage is that I can also share the data with my partner, a friend or a radon specialist, and they also get access to real-time data. Another advantage is that the data stored here all have a timestamp. So when I export the data, I have the date, the time and the corresponding radon value. So, a nice range of devices. In short, if you need a mobile device, i.e. there are no power outlets available, the AirThings Corentium Home is actually your only choice at the moment. It's a little slow, a little sluggish, but if you have some time and don't need real-time data, it's a solid device. For everyone else who doesn't necessarily want Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and maybe doesn't want an app, we recommend the EcoBlue because the device is fast, small and simple. You can see the data in real time. You also have different averages on the back of the button. But if you want to do a little bit more with the data, so history, temporal processes, also alarms, we recommend the Raiden Eye or the EcoCube. And this is a little bit of a philosophy thing. Some of our customers prefer the Raiden Eye because it has a small display. You can quickly see the value there. But here, you only have the ability to get the data through a direct Bluetooth connection. So the big advantage of the EcoCube is that you can get the data from anywhere. You can share the data easily. All data has a real timestamp. The device has no display, but the LED status indicator. Now you have a good overview of all the different devices. Each device has its pros and cons. But we are sure that there is a perfect device for you.